Good morning, darlings. I am going to have you walk with me today. I'm going to de-stress and decompress. Um, so living in Las Vegas comes with a lot of trials, um, nonsense, readjusting your values and mindset a lot of times. There are people you will come in contact with that are just doing the most. Um, anyway, so last night I wanted to tell you what happened when I went to the Aria. And that's a really upscale casino as far as Vegas goes. And what happened was I was leaving in my car and you have to pay before you leave. So there's this little bar that comes down, registers how long you've been there, and you're supposed to put in your credit card to let you out. So anyway, there was about 10 people in line. So annoying. Like we're at a standstill and that usually means somebody can't find their credit card or their ticket or there's just nonsense. And so you end up getting backed up. People start building um, tension. People start getting annoyed and beeping the horn. So anyways, I'm sitting there and all of a sudden, boom, somebody hits me from the back in my car. And so I jump out and I go behind me and I look at the guy. He's in a convertible um, Mustang and he's got like two girls in there, one in the back sitting up and one next to him. And I was like, oh, did somebody hit you? Like what happened? You know, because I thought someone hit him and then rammed him into me. So he's like, no, my foot slipped. And he was very honest. And I was like, man, I can appreciate that. You know, like I'm willing to work with this person because they're honest. So anyways, I look at the back of my car, look at his car, and it literally, there was no damage. But if you know from being a driver, it sounds really loud when you hit your car, whether it's your hand, a car, or anything. It sounds way louder than it actually is and scared the crap out of me. So anyway, I realized everything was okay and I felt good about it. I felt good about leaving it because he was so honest. And then the girl in the back is like, oh, it's just a love tap. It's just a love tap. Keep on, keep it moving. So I'm like, what is she talking about? She's not even driving. And then I think, is it her car? Like, why is she even engaging with me not being the driver? So anyway, I smell all kinds of alcohol because it's hot here. And I don't know if y'all know, but when it's hot, you can smell like, like lingering odors in the air. So... He's a black guy. I'm like, okay, I kind of want him to know that I know he's been drinking, but I'm looking out for him. So since we're still sitting there, I kind of get out of the car and I'm like, hey, I said, if you're drinking, I said, be really careful. I said, don't drive right now. And the same girl in the back with her big ghetto behind goes, we good. Ain't nobody drinking. Ain't nobody drinking. Anyway, you shouldn't have stopped. You should have kept going. So she tries to flip it around like somehow he hit me because I was not moving. Now, mind you, there's 10 people in front of me. Nobody's moving. So I'm starting to get on edge. Like, what's her problem with me? Like, I looked really nice. So I was like, maybe she's just mad. I'm talking to her man at this point. Um, but really, it was like he was so cool and honest that I just was letting it all go. But when she started, I was like, you know what? Don't start with me because I will act up in here. I said, I will all of a sudden act like there's a big problem now. Anyway, so by the grace of God, I got control of myself. And I was like, just because somebody else is acting up, you don't have to act up. Just because someone else is ghetto and ratchet and low life and wants to lie, maintain your composure. And I totally respect the dude that was driving because you never expect somebody to say like, oh yeah, my foot slipped. <laughs> anyway, I'm just so glad that there was no damage and that I was able to leave like that because some people just work your nerves and it just, it just tries you. And it's the caliber of people and character in this world 
and some people have a good outstanding character which I'm thankful the driver had and then others are disgusting like her who really wanted to make an issue and act like it was my fault first of all most of the time if someone hits you from behind it's their fault regardless anyway hands down so anyways guys I'm just saying this try to maintain your composure try to be kind try to be understanding and try to cover your bases when somebody else is not covering and and in the end the truth comes out so I wouldn't even try to lie about something because the truth will come out and all I want to say is relax and breathe maintain your composure and if you got a friend in the background trying to defend you that is not your friend <laughs> in a case like this where I could have you know gotten his name registration and all that and actually I ended up taking a picture of the car only because of that girl only because I thought this is a nasty person who shouldn't even be out here able to tell lies and do all these things but by the grace of God I handle myself handle yourself guys <laughs> breathe get your exercise pray meditate do whatever you have to do because people in this world are going to try you god bless you happy father's day